lovelies may I scrap lift you here with a bit of a difference and that's because I'm doing a walkthrough from a live that I did last month in Sarah Scraps Rediscover Your Stash Facebook group that's because in June and January we have what is known as a spending freeze where we try not to buy anything for that month and there are challenges and there are prizes and there's all kinds of fun stuff happening and Sarah was going to go live and she didn't end up being able to do it so I put my hand up and said I'll do it. Now I don't have nearly as much experience with that kind of thing as Sarah so it took two sessions to get through one layout. Admittedly some of it was using mixed media. Yeah. So note to self, mixed media not such a great idea for a live because it takes forever. The, I used one of the challenges that Sarah had in her group for that month and that was using this sketch and from because it's may I scrap lift you I decided to scrap lift Sarah's version on her own sketch now I hoped to be able to stream live directly to YouTube but I haven't been able to do that the um, app that you need for that is kind of expensive and I don't go live often enough to justify it so I'm gonna link the two lives down below it's three hours of unedited chaos very much an Alex special, lots of craziness, yeah. Sarah, admittedly, I think she cheated because one of her goals this month was to use a bunch of mixed media backgrounds that she had created and not yet used. So this background, I could tell that she had done some stamping and some of it was ink that she had let bleed a little bit and I thought that was really pretty. I had to do the same. I tried to do the same. So the black, I, I had a background stamp and I just kind of inked small areas of it and the black one was stays on so that bit wouldn't bleed and then I did it in some in color in distressing so that it would bleed except when I added water it really didn't bleed yeah so I blasted a few bits with some mist and the paper that I used had some kind of faux mixed media already on it um yeah most of it ended up being covered up and let me tell you that was a good thing the strips Sarah used a whole bunch of narrow strips now because her photos are portrait no hers are landscape mine are portrait so I had more room going down and less room going across so I opted not to include this little bit even though I thought I could squeeze it in there I fortunately had room for journaling. I ended up doing a little bit of extra stamping down here just because I felt it was a bit disconnected and I found a bunch of papers and a few branding strips. I cut them into various thicknesses. I kind of used this one, this Vicky Booten one, as the colour scheme. I started off with purple because that's something I use on Max layouts, uh, well school, school Max layout. So he's wearing his uniform even though it's not about school. So I didn't want to use all the school colours. And this paper here, this black and white polka dot, it's from the Simple Stories collection. It actually had llamas on it. Of course all the llamas ended up being covered but that's okay. I used some stickers and I thought why not play up the llama that's in this painting even though it has absolutely nothing whatever to do with the story. And I found some of those clear simple story stickers and they fit the llama. I mean how cool is that? I was so excited about that. And it's one of those stories that it's not a you know super happy story but it's not like all doom and gloom so I'm trying to document a few more of those and between the first live and the second I went through and stitched with the sewing machine the strips there's no way I'd be able to do that in an actual live some time and it's just not practical I think I got the idea because this strip here that Sarah's used it looks like it's got some stitching through it and I took a nod from Sarah's she has her title on the photo and we managed to overlap Sarah and I came up with this. I wanted to include some kind of llama pun in the title. Max loves puns and so it just seemed to tie it all in together. I was very excited to use that creepy eye from the Amy Tangerine's Brave and Bold collection. It's just a bit random. 
Now this is really warped because the paper got quite wet. I didn't put gesso on it to start with because I really didn't think I was going to get it that wet. So I am hoping it's going to flatten out in the page protector. And some things just come about by chance. Now this branding strip, I wanted to leave the wild thing, I think I love you, but guess what? Then I found the sticker, you make my heart sing. So it's not really a lovey-dovey layer about Max at all. This one I wanted to make sure didn't get covered up because no rest for the rad I think is quite fitting so there you have it one may I scrap lift you based on Sarah's layout and a little bit on her sketch the deets of Sarah's group will be down below if you haven't checked it out go ahead it's really fun easy going and all the rest of it so do make sure to go and check out everybody else in May I Scrap Lift You. We've had a few new people recently. Thanks again for watching and if you're brave enough to watch the lives then I apologise in advance and I hope to see you again soon. Bye!